Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 11 on Mysterious JG. Liu Shan has joined our force, so... Yay, I guess? I was thinking maybe if Liu Bei managed to die somehow before Liu Shan came of age, I'd be curious to see Guan Yu or Liu Fang, one of those two probably would have taken over, which would have been infinitely preferable to Liu Shan. Liu Shan will end up taking over, unless I can somehow get him to lead a unit into Cao Cao's territory, get captured and executed, but I don't think they'd kill him. I don't think they'd do me that favor. Anyway, let's get back to it here. 521 troops, yeah, JG Mysteries unit ought to be able to handle that on their own. Yay! I mean, gee! JG's Mysteries unit of Han's army has taken G from Cao Pi's army. We captured Tian Yu! And Yuan Huan. Hey, and they joined us, oddly enough. I have long waited for this day. Wait a minute, didn't he... Is he the guy who joined us and then betrayed us? Oh, now I'm not sure. Didn't I mean to execute him? <sighs> oh, well. Somebody definitely joined us and then ditched us, and I can't remember who it was. <laughs> Should have made a note of that. I think Grimoth, uh, I don't mean to keep name-dropping him, but his... His LP of the, of, uh, the Romance of the Kingdoms games, I think he actually kept a notepad handy for making notes of, you know, he had like a, a Nixon-style enemy list. It seemed like he had one. Uh, yeah, I might be making that up. But anyway, folks, Cao Cao, um, he's kind of in trouble. Well, he's really in trouble. He's dead, and he's probably not in, like, the land of angels and harps either. But, um, Cao Pi is in trouble here in the living world. Unless this is all their domestic facilities, and it can't be, because there's more stuff up here. This is actually a pretty serious city. This is this, this is one of the cities that could be like a potentially a really good starting base. I only got one guy, so I will have Falger here work on increasing order. He pushed order up by five single-handedly. That's not too shabby, actually. That's a lot. Doesn't sound, seem like much of an increase in order, but normally you've got three people working. Falger was doing that by himself, so not bad. Meanwhile, up here, and I've now got three dudes ready to see what these three dudes can do as far as increasing order. They can push it up to 96, and it's actually two dudes and a little lady. But they increased order by 6, 7, 8, and that's between three of them. 8 divided by 3, you do the math, but they're not as good as Falsher individually. Do, 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 not as good as Falsher. This place's order keeps slipping. How good could I get it if I... Yeah, I could get all the way to 100 if I don't recruit. But I do want to recruit. And they barely get it up. They get it, like, one notch higher than it was before I recruited. But that's to be expected. Oh, there's Zhang Shi. I did not... Okay, so I need to... I'd forgotten that I was going to go check her bio, so I guess it's good that she showed up there. What is she doing up here? She's Zhang Fei's daughter, I thought. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that. Wasn't she just here? Or was she down here? Oh, it's late. I'm apparently losing a little bit here. There she is. Leader 51, War 72. Wow, that can't be... Jang Fei's daughter. I don't think they would have given her a war score that was higher than her intelligence. It's got to be somebody else. Uh, Jang Fei's eldest daughter. Never mind. Liu Shan's empress. It is. It's. This is. This is uh, Jing Tsai. I made my own Jing Tsai so that she could be called Jing Tsai. And I don't think I realized when I first did that that they already had, you know, somebody who was supposed to be Jing Tsai in the game. Jang Fei's eldest daughter, Liu Shan's empress. Empress Jiang something. Her mother was Ji Hao Shi, Ji Hao Ba's cousin. 
when Liu Chan became emperor, according to the advice of Xu Ge Liang and others, Zhang Shi became his empress at the age of 17 in the year 221. Zhang Shi entered court as the consort of the crown prince Liu Shan in 223. She became empress. She died in 237, and her younger sister became Liu Shan's empress. So yeah, this is actually Jing Tsai, pretty much. So the other Jing Tsai is some kind of imposter with much better stats, I guess. Or we could say that the younger uh, sister is the one who ends up as a character in Dynasty Warriors. But I always, it to me, it somehow always made sense that there was a younger, that the older sister was the one who was fighting, and the younger sister just kind of doesn't make it into the game. Dynasty Warriors does everything in its power to bring chicks into the game. I mean, they they go beyond what was actually going on in the novel as far as women being important, which is, I suppose, to their credit. I mean, it's a video game franchise. They're not really... They don't have much of a responsibility to be, you know, custodians of history. As much as that irritates me the way that they, tr they handle John Hay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Masu, you've been down here away from the action. Harmless in this city. Soon your day will come. You will get to be one of the officers. Although, you know, I'll probably transfer people down there to do it for you. But we will lead a big attack out of your city into, um... Chang Sang. Chai Sang. Which will probably reinforce itself. At that, you know, once we get to that point, folks... I'm probably gonna, like, set... Some of these other districts' policy to be, uh... Attack. Woo. In the meantime, now that I'm looking at this, District 1 has gotten kind of big and ungainly. I really should think about starting it. But these cities still need to develop, so yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna mess with districts right now. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this turn. There's no combat for me to watch up here, so let's uh let's check out the action between Wei and Wu for a change. See what these guys are up to. Guys over here, this uh, Cao Zhang, the uh, you know super important way leader, I'm sure, is over here attacking granaries and farms. <laughs> Guys, you 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 do not have a good strategy here, it seems. I, I really need to consider to sweep again and taking over Shao Chun. They're building up defenses between me and them. I mean, they they seem to know that it's going to be coming. We got band platforms over here. Like, what the fuck, guys? Band platforms, really? That's your strategy for saving your your kingdom. I thought for a minute Sal P himself might be up there building band platforms. That would have been awesome. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I played you. Uh, you failed. I mean, you're the fucking empress, Doom Screamy. You're the empress. Your husband makes the sun rise and set. He brings the rain that nurtures the crops. And you keep him happy at night. How could you fail in this important time? That was sexist and ridiculous. They, you know, sometimes go together, but not always. Not everything that's sexist is intrinsically ridiculous. And vice versa. But yeah, they do tend to uh, walk arm in arm. What would you have done at this time? I'd have the peaceful music start to play as you get young. Thank you. Yeah, right now I don't have any armies in the field, so peaceful music time. <laughs> These guys are over here like... Draft, draft, draft! Draft troops now! <sighs> yeah, they are. And I... My will is not great. Do I want to just march? Uh... Leave these guys behind to build and let Machao 
His intelligence isn't that good. Send him out there with the Ju Shu backing him up to stop him from falling for tricks. Tricksy little hobbit stuff. Give him some gold just in case I feel like building towers, but I probably won't. Just so that I don't feel like I'm, you know, leaving them completely, uh, un, you know, not pressured at all. I will have them move over here and attack. Want me to attack Archer Turret, right? And the same thing with you guys. Just send out a cavalry unit. They can back. They can back off reasonably quickly if it turns out that this was a bad idea. Who would they send? They would send out Jinx. Jinx High on her own is probably okay. Cause I want to leave. I don't want to bring more officers than is needed. Jinx High's got decent intelligence. Her leader's pretty good. I think I gave her an ass with cavalry because I figured girls like horses. So I'll leave these guys out of it and just let her get involved. And those, and those other officers would definitely make her a more formidable unit. It's... Well, it's only 15,000. And she better not bring any gold, because they don't have a lot of gold to build that city with. But yeah, I just want to leave those officers behind to get the city going. Same objective. It's a race, Mark! Ciao! Let's see who can do this first! Alright, so we need to get some farms going. Well, let's get these guys working on a mint. Where are those markets that I've got already good to go? I've got seven tracts of free land available. There's three of them. Here's four of them. Alright, this is not going to be a great city. They've already got a stable. They've already got... Smith. So I'll put a barracks here, and I'll have four markets on a mint. I'll have three farms on a granary. That's gonna have to do. <laughs> Come along, Bobo. Let's get to work on a farm. And you, Mayun Lu, I should have sent with Jinxai. But instead, I'll just have you uh, inspect. She increased order by four. Not as good as Falzer, but still pretty good. Falzer is a created officer. They do tend to have stats that are just, like, semi-ridiculous. We've got six pieces of free land left. We don't have any market mints or farm or greenery. We just have, uh, da, da, da. can't talk. Let's get a mint going here. Maybe get that greenery going next to some farms. And then over here, I didn't leave enough action points to do anything, but this city needs to get started also. It's got all sorts of officers in place but no action points to do anything with them. Might as well get them working on something long term then. So let's get a... Go ahead and start with a granary. The mint is going to be important, but... Right now, the, when the granary comes in, it'll be impacting two farms that already exist. The, mar the mint will only have one market that it's going to impact. And that's going to be it. So we had the peaceful music very briefly. Because now it's going to be replaced because I've got units out there on the attack. Oh, more farms are being destroyed. Troop strength of Beihai is considerable. We can't let our guard down. What will be our next move? Beihai? That's Beipeng. Where's Beihai? Well, yeah, I guess they're the the closest thing that Cao Cao's forces have to a threat. If they decided to attack uh, Ping Yuan, I'd be kind of put out. 
I would have to send uh, a big force out of Fu Yang to defend. They currently they're not really in a position to defend themselves from Bay High. But yeah, Bay High it's it's not a short trip for the soldiers from Bay High either. They would have to. Uh, they would probably march out, take this path, go to the river, try to cross. Let's just say that Ping Yuan would have to defend itself for a very brief time. I'd ha if I was provided quickly with reinforcements out of Pu Yang, Ping Yuan should be all right. But in the meantime. Let's get some of these guys working on uh, markets. Falger, Zhao Yun, and the gang. Let's get you guys working on, including uh, Guan Yu's daughter and I hate you, Jen. Are gonna get working on uh, mint. more domestic time. That's what I was starting to say. Great song, DJ. Alright, let's get another market going. Might as well. Don't have to worry about doing anything else in these northern cities, because all the officers are in use now, I believe. Oh, you've got one more dude who can do something. So, Zhang Fei, I'm here to calm you. As long as I'm around, no booze is safe. Alright, let's not just have you directly attack the tower. Let's have you do that under my direction. So that I can make sure you're not hanging around in its range before you're in range to attack yourselves. Attack yourselves. That's not what I meant to say, but. And they can just blitz on through and start... If nothing else, they can probably draw some troops out of the city and start, you know, whittling down their numbers. But yeah, those guys really aren't in... A... This city really isn't in a hot shape. Zhang Shi... Just so have as I go. The 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 actual thing size showed up after all this time. Well, you know. And you guys probably should reward. I forgot all about that. Yeah, it goes. Yeah, she Grimoth is getting ready to ditch us. His loyalty's down to 97. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go work for Cao P. I think that's where the future is. So let's prevent that from happening. Bunch of shoe officers I don't recognize or leading transport units. Something happened with Jihao Doon and Doom Screamy returned home to her beloved husband, but I don't know what was going on with the 18,000. Can you guys one shot kill an archer turret? No, you can't. Are you guys trying to... Yeah, they got a spear unit coming. Oh, and it's a good one, and it's Ju Huang. Shit. Should have figured. Ju Huang and 8,000 spears are not enough to handle, like, over 30,000 cavalry. All S cavalry, but it is spears against cavalry. It's kind of the rock, paper, scissors game is being played, and they've chosen the correct thing to counter it with, so. Probably don't want to try to push this too hard. Maybe see if I can do as much damage as possible from range, since I have, you know, cavalry bows. Alright, what do we got? Four pieces of free land. Let's get another market going. No, let's get that granary started. And 
then my Yin Lu will continue to inspect. Just barely increasing order, but I want it maxed out. I want that city doing as well as it can while it's starting out here. Alright, three dudes, which means we can build something. They're not the best builders ever, but uh, they'll have to do. We wanted to build a smith and a stable, probably. Uh, well, let's get one more market going first. There's the mint, right? Yeah. Not bother drilling troops just yet. Let's see what we're doing as far as needing to reward. We do have more people who need to? Re oh wow, ten people. Well, if you throw out gold every time somebody's loyalty drops below 100, you can need a lot of action points that way, and they don't generate new technique points. But I don't, you know, I just I tend not to take any chances. Throw as much gold at my army as I can. Hey, Zhu Chang built those towers that I got them working on. Now they're going to try to knock you into each other. Yep, of course they are. Too much damage! Wow, that was a lot of damage, actually. Smash through them in one blow! At the grand blow! Nice. Even though I said I was going to use ranged attacks, now I'm like, force a duel, and totally didn't do it. Still though, now they're surrounded, there's another little ring getting spear unit coming, and it depleted their troops something fierce. Uh, Jing Tsai and Ma Chao may be able to take the city of Beiping by themselves, in which case I'd really have no choice but to grab a bunch of officers from down here and transfer them over there to build it up. Maybe let Jing Tsai and Ma Chao, just once those officers have arrived and started building, they could take their cavalry and uh, head over this way. Although, yeah, I'd probably need a little more help to, to finish them off. But I'm trying to keep things moving, folks. Okay, three more facilities. So, a barracks and two more mints, I think we decided. So let's get those two mints going now. Or, I mean, uh, markets. You know what I meant. Going along, Bobo. You are not going to be building that by yourself. Hey, they have a ship here. That's cool. She can drill troops. Don't be afraid of the enemy! You have no free officers. And, uh, You've got one free officer who's going to drill, baby drill. Soldiers have been mustered. Next, we must train them. Train them to talk like me! Guan Ping! I mean, I'm not Guan Ping, but you know what I meant. All these guys sitting in prison, I'm not even trying to recruit them at the moment. Let's send uh, Liu Bei or his lovely Empress out there on more recruiting runs. Mahjong, Ma Dog! No, Bao Shuya? Doom Scream is supposed to be able to hire him. She was supposed to be able to hire that last guy, too. Alright, so these two guys, which one's more valuable? He's got a lot of good pull. Intelligence Charisma, he would be great for building one of those new cities. He's not quite as good. Let's try to get Baoshuya. Then let's think about saving the game and ending our turn. Let's end our turn and save the game, perhaps. Yes, that might be an even wiser course. The 
ain't getting our way, we'll mess them up. They just keep picking on Jing Tsai. Arg! What will be your next move? Probably reinforce Jing Tsai's unit if I could, but. Godzilla! Oh, I wasn't gonna take another turn, I kinda forgot. Oh well. Let's kick the butts big time! <laughs> Hurry, run to Beiping! One more thing to build, and we don't have a barracks yet, so that's kind of a no-brainer. Gotta have a barracks. Over here, we got two sets of guys free. Do we even have two more things to build? It's the nice thing about bringing these huge cores full of officers along, is that you got a lot of officers to build the city itself with. Uh, one and one four. Alright, let's do a stable and uh, let's do a smith and a stable. Why well, not? I don't think I'll actually be hanging out here long enough to make use of any of this stuff anyway. So there's a smith. Alright, let's build a stable. This will actually take a little while, and we'll keep. Pretty, you know, hard-hitting hard military officers like Sun Wukong uh, and Huang Zhang just hanging around building a stable seems kind of ridiculous during the war, but hey, man, it happens, you know. Pancakes guy, you will build farms so we can grow delicious grains. From which to make pancakes. Falger, you will join with the helmet squad here and increase our economy. I will make stupid mouth trumpet noises. Fei, you are not going to build a market by yourself. You will be at it forever. So you can instead uh, drill some more. Oh, my daughter's getting her ass kicked, and I'm just sitting around drilling. And his daughter's like, I'm fine, Daddy. I'm right over here in this city. Let me take a quick peek at Liu Bay City and see. Oh, wait, there are. South South's forces are on the move towards my uh, towers. What do you know? I had no idea that I was being attacked. I should probably be paying more attention. That is a catapult platform that appears to have been started and not completed. What the fuck, Cao Cao? I mean, Cao P. You guys, uh, you're still at full strength, so nobody marched out of there. Clearly, um... Wow, Tang Lang! Ah, ooh, he's, um... A shitty bow unit. That's an interesting tactical choice. <laughs> oh god, they are so fucked. And I think this city's maxed out with uh, all the food that I can hold. Oh no, that's not how much is in the city. That's how much is, uh. That's how much the, uh. This unit can take with it. something I couldn't read it sorry okay now I really am truly going to end the video after ending this trip.
I mean, you use wars moving around. No, the perfect chance. Oh, fuck you. Doom Scream is successfully employed. Bao Shuya. I, Bao Shuya, have been tempted by the sexy, sexy Empress. Relations between Liu Bei and that guy have worsened. <laughs> And meanwhile, Wei and Wu continue to fight, and I love it. I love it. Yeah, that's right. You launch your vicious attack. We can't counterattack because we're only horse bows, but you just. I do not think you are going to win this showdown. Now there is only 1,400. Yeah, now there's only 14,755 of us to go against you. Alright, folks. Well. Yeah. Things continue to go pretty darn well. Took three cities in the last couple of videos. Uh, trying to make it four, but just based on having cavalry out there in the field constantly pressuring, all that's really doing is preventing, is preventing them from really building up the reinforcements and stuff. It's not really going to... I don't think I'm going to be able to take the city, and if I do, I would need to hurry up and get more forces there or it'll fall. So Guan Lu is here to tell us that it's time to end the video. When we come back, uh, now we got Jing Tsai and Jing Tsai, so there's two Jing Tsai's ready to do battle with our enemies, and uh, that will probably be the key to victory. I'm sure it's all going to come down to the two Jing Tsai's. Solid, it's like Metal Gear Solid, the two Jing Tsai's, a special edition. Anyway, uh, we'll see more of that and all sorts of other exciting action in the next videos. Thanks for watching, folks. See you then.